2017, uh, he was charged and discharged, uh, uh, cases dropped by the state as well as by the office of uh, the DPP. What's your take on the reaction by the state to this very unfortunate story? Uh, yeah, first of all, I think that the state is always behind. There are so many things that the state is doing catch up on. And uh, even if you charge him on cases which were dropped before the real case we are dealing with, which is the, the case of Shakahola, I think for me would say too little, too late because of the fact that um, if you look at it, uh, Ben, um, it, is, it is very obvious that if you look at our constitution, there is nothing you can charge Pastor McKenzie for. There is no case that can succeed, even if you exhume one million bodies. Why? There is right of worship and association. And they say you even have a right to your conscience, you have your right to your opinion, you have your right to believe anything you want. So if he said this was my opinion, and the constitution is clear that he has a right to his opinion, in fact, I don't even know how that kind of constitution was there, but you know what's happening? Matters faith are very different from matters legal or criminal. Because this matters faith. You cannot go well, and is, stipulate it, in details. You, you have to is. say it is safe to say that the investigations are still ongoing. And the yeah, but I'm trying to say if, he, if there's no uh, evidence that he killed anyone, he used either a blunt weapon or shot anybody, which most likely they are saying these people are fasting to death. You cannot take him to court for someone fasting because those people also had to have their own beliefs and opinion and also they are to transfer. The main thing we have to ask here is that on matters that are so important as your faith and life, you cannot put them in the hands of pastors. You must, Kenyans must know that you follow someone as they follow Christ. When you see them taking a turn that does not go towards Christ, then actually it has to be directed by the light. And then lastly, but last but not least, if you look at Matthew chapter 27, 50, 50 to 51, it says that the curtains in the temple tore into one dividing it and ensuring that the holies of holies can be accessed by anyone. You don't have to pass through anybody. So God does not have to pass and pass messages through Pastor Mackenzie to you. Right. You can talk to God directly and you are personally responsible for your journey to heaven. You cannot put it in anybody's hands. All right. Mark, before we get into the issue of cultism and, and, and the, the 